Hello everybody, uh, today's topic difference between lung parenchyma and lung interstitium and while learning that we'll also try to understand a few more concepts uh, among some of the words that you'll hear frequently while studying chest radiology or even anatomy and physiology of the lung are lung parenchyma, air space and air space diseases, interstitium and interstitial diseases, pleura and pleural KVT. So let's once again try to have a thorough understanding and create a crystal clear picture of these words in our mind. So this is a revision of what we have been learning in last few months. Conditions of lungs can be divided into several groups on the basis of the part of the lung involved. Lung is an organ. An organ is made up of two or more tissue types. A tissue is simply a collection of similar cells. So interstitium of lung is the tissue which lies between nemocytes of alveoli. So this is a rough sketch of uh, uh, lung tissue and these blue spaces are representing alveoli of lung. So these, these are alveolar walls made up of type 1 and type 2 nemocytes. This space, the blue space, has got uh, air in it. So, so this is air. The blue space is representing air. This uh, brownish stuff is representing the surfactant which is produced by type 2 nemocyte cells of alveoli and all these cells are sitting on a basement membrane. So the space between two basement membranes and the tissue between two basement membranes is known as interstitium. So you can have interstitial diseases, you can have uh, air space diseases. These are uh, blood vessels these are the cells that uh, freely float or move into the institution. These can be monocytes, uh, fibroblasts, and then you all have uh, the, the proteins that make the institution. So elastic fibers and uh, reticular fibers. Type 1 cells, nemocytes type 1 cells are the usual site for gas exchange and type 2 cells as we know produce surfactant which help keep alveoli open even during expiration. Interstitium also has a well regulated quantity of fluid which is also known as interstitial fluid. Within inter interstitium you have some cells for example fibroblasts and monocytes. Fibroblasts are mobile cells that actually make elastic and reticular fibers. Monocytes are the blood cells that can move from blood vessels into the interstitium. They can also move from blood vessels to the alveoli of lung where they go um, undergo several changes to be known as macrophages. Macrophages, phagocytos or in, in simple words eat dust particles, dead cells and bacteria in this space. They are the first line of defense against bacterial and fungal infections in lungs. Any condition that involves interstitium is known as interstitial disease, for example, sarcoidosis or tuberculosis. You can also have excess fluid within interstitium, which shows up on x-ray as linear markings, for example, as a result of left heart failure. Such lining will also decrease definition of blood vessels on a chest x-ray. Lung parenchyma is, on the other hand, is a combination of alveoli of lung which are made up of uh, nemocytes type 1 and type 2, interstitium, blood vessels, lymphatics uh, and everything. So everything uh, together is known as lung parenchyma. These spaces are known as uh, air spaces. This is known as interstitium. So that's the, the definition. So while uh, discussing radiology you'll hear interstitial disease, air space disease or vascular disease. So these are the definitions uh, that we are learning. So we have to have clear concepts of what is interstitium, what is air space, what is vascular uh, disease mean. So once again lung parenchyma is a combination of interstitium plus alveoli plus bronchi, uh, blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes. Any area of lung that normally has air is simply known as air space. Condition that involves, any condition that involves air space is known as air space disease. Pneumonia is a very good example of air space disease where alveoli of lung gets uh, filled with exudates, uh, fluid and pus, uh, etc. Bronchiectasis uh, is a condition of bronchi often visible on chest x-ray as dilated bronchi. 
Asthma also involves bronchi as smooth muscles around a bronchial lumen get dilated. Example of conditions of vessels pulmonary embolism, which is usually caused by uh, blood clots that block blood vessels and stop blood flow to lung parenchyma. Such clots uh, can cause infarctions, means tissue becomes dead. Pulmonary infarctions on chest x are easily can easily be confused with consolidation, although very frequently infarctions caused by pulmonary embolism have distinct features such as triangular shape and peripheral location. Vasculitis is another condition of vessels. Then you have uh, pleural space conditions such as uh, pneumothorax, hemothorax, uh, pleural effusions, uh, pleuritis and so on. Thank you very much.